Hello everyone, today I'm making my crescent rolls. Let me show you the picture from my cookbook. And that's Fatima Saido Cooks. You can get this book at all leading bookstores on Take A Lot and from my website. Okay. I've got here 250 ml of lukewarm milk. So with this I'm going to add 8 teaspoons of sugar and a 10 gram packet yeast, instant yeast. I'm just going to stir it. Okay. This one side, I'll just show you what else I have here. This is three cups of cake flour plus an extra quarter cup of cake flour. A teaspoon of salt, I'm going to add it in here. One teaspoon of salt. Okay. And a quarter cup of flour. Just stir that. Okay. Let's see the yeast. It's going to allow it to froth up a bit and then we're going to continue. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's just been like not even a minute and the yeast has nicely frothed up. I'm going to add to my flour. And one egg. And I'm going to go in with clean hands and just bring the dough together. Okay. There we go. And we're going to need this for eight minutes by hand or you can put it in your stand mixer and knead it there okay for eight minutes and you'll be right back sorry guys one last ingredient uh, 50 grams of softened butter add it to your dough and now we bring it all together. Okay. Let's move over to the other side. Okay. Just lightly. We're gonna need I see okay. Oh, this is the best part guys. Best part. And you see this dough, the recipe comes together perfectly. Soft dough, but not sticky. Okay, so I'll continue with the next seven minutes. And we'll be right back. Okay, so look at this now. Nice and smooth. Look at that. Got a bowl here with a little oil in. Just spread the oil. Okay. Put it on top. Put it 
doesn't stick to the cling wrap. You can use a tea towel. And then you're going to let this rise until double in size. If I can just get the... <laughs> One second, guys. There we go. You can use this dough for any shape of rolls. I don't know if I'm going to make the crescent rolls or if I'm going to make just the round rolls. I think I'll still decide. So, when I see you guys again, the dough will be double in size. Now remember, depending on your weather, where you are in the world, it will take a different time to rise. Just make sure it, in when it touches, sorry, <laughs> it will double in size and bloom like that. If it takes long, just put a lot of, put it, it, find a warm place in your house and put it there. Okay? And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And here's the dough. And then I'm just going to punch it down. Like that. And take it out. I've also greased, lightly greased and floured a baking tray. Okay, let's do this. Now you're just going to cut it in equal size balls, round balls. And then we're going to place it there, space it apart, because it's going to rise again, proof again for like 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, depending, until double in size. Then we're going to egg wash it, and then you can bake it just so, or you can add, sprinkle over some white sesame seeds. Okay, and we'll be right back. So I've cut it into 12 equal size pieces, and now I'm going to make my balls i do have a scale so you can weigh it if you got a, a scale if you want it like perfectly equal size but yeah we're gonna eat it up today it's fine <laughs> okay so we're gonna just make some balls round balls And I'm just going to carry on until I'm done. Okay, so I've spaced them equally apart. There we go. Cover with a tea towel for 30 minutes. And then we're going to bake it in a preheated oven for 25, 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, now I'm going to egg wash the rolls. It will rise further as it bakes. I'm just going to egg wash it. This is just a beaten egg. Okay. And then as I said before, you can decide if you want to put on anything on top or leave it just as is. I like that um, crunch of the, the sesame seeds. So we're going to put on cheese, butter, some peeled butter, 
some cheese and then we also have spiced beef you can eat as is you can serve this with lunch dinner supper breakfast you name it okay one second guys okay sprinkle over some sesame seeds oven is preheating and when you preheat an oven it should be done over a period about 10 minutes max there we go going into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and we'll be right back okay guys i just took it out of the oven what out of the oven you can see okay and if you want to you can brush on some melted butter here's the roll guys it's quite hot i'm gonna try to open it for you oh it's fun that oh yummy in my tummy soft look at that soft 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 yummy there it is guys I'm gonna have now do the rolls with the butter and the cheese and spiced beef and there it is guys my soft rolls easy peasy there's the butter the spiced beef some sweet tomatoes and some cheese there it is and just a recap bake on 180 degrees celsius for 25 minutes and there you have it Hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone. <laughs>